Matthias Leitner, he is uh, just working on our new welding cell. We call it the Terminator 760. Please. Which is a beautiful machine. You see the flippers. We can process beams up to a width of 760 millimeter. The concept is almost the same like the single rail, but only weld out. That means we are not assembling on that line. It's a very efficient, very fast weld out line. You can do a fillet welds, semi-penetration welds, uh, multi-pass layers, all on 1.2 mil uh, solid core. Our welding cell is Fronius, which is of course uh, a very well-known Austrian company. Uh, within, let's say recently even, we are uh, working on uh, the newest welding cell from Fronius, which is approximately 20% uh, faster than the old uh, welding cells, which have been already supporting us very well, of course. But by software integration, software changes, uh, these welling cells are a lot more efficient and a lot quicker. So you see measuring by laser, stick out uh, for the welding wire and weld it out. Just click a button and the machine will do. Let me mention that uh, we are not teaching these robots. We are taking the three-dimensional data from 3D modeling software like uh, Tecla, Advanced Steel, uh, then we have SDS2 from America. We have done the interfaces just to download the 3D data and go directly to the machine by Profit software generating the production data. You simply can say for assembling, one minute, 15 seconds, one part. Arc on time on the welding cell, I would say it's approximately 60%, whereas manual weld out is 25% of uh, arc on time of one guy working on the machine. So we can offer such a, a cell with uh, two robots and we can build it in extended version. That means we have uh, the welding tower opened with a tunnel and uh, the big manipulator can then go underneath uh, this tunnel as well. Scanning, understanding precisely where we are and weld it out.